Tove, jag har ju tagit honom då. William! Okej. Jag har ju tagit honom då. Jag har ju tagit honom då. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. You'll never have the sacred stone. Oh, this new crazy mother. Hi guys, I'm Khadija. I'm Taylor. And welcome to our channel, Why News with Chesa. And so, in this video, we decided we were going to give you just a couple of tips on how to, you know, enjoy your college experience to the max, like we did. We have five tips to have the best product experience that you can have. And so the first tip is kind of just to explore what's in the neighborhood. I know we went to Hampton mm -hmm. and all of the cities around us, Virginia Beach, Norfolk, they have a lot that's going on. Richmond as well. Yeah, everybody loves to say, oh, there's nothing going on in Hampton. Go outside of yeah. Hampton then and explore, you know. Because there's stuff around. close by, unless you're in country country, but even if you're in like the country country, they they have fun things to do. You just have to go find them sometimes. Check out like Groupon and things mm -hmm. like that. In the things to do section. Yeah. There's a ton of things that you can do that's like probably super fun. So definitely and even in Hampton, honestly, yeah. we have there are we things, find our things. There are to things do, to so. do. And that leads us into the next one, which is to know the deals that are around you, especially for oh, food. Yeah, we love food distance. and activities. <laughs> there are always I deals can't tell you, you how many times we've done a little survey at the bottom of the receipt to get mm -hmm. either free food, like five dollars off, something yeah. like that. There is always something that you can get mm -hmm. if you just expand your range and open yourself to the ideas Sign that there is for deals. Little Everything. email clubs. Everything. Don't be afraid to use more no. than one email. We've done that. Yeah. There's many of times that we have eaten entire meals for free and everybody is just like, y'all have money. Only you if you're kind of deserving off. though, especially, you know, the ones that you sign up for multiple emails mm -hmm. for, make sure you save it because eventually yeah. they will catch up to you, but save it for a rainy day. Mm -hmm. And make sure you know, like, which days, uh, you uh, know, the deal are the days, specials yeah. and things like that. I know I, I like Bar Louie. If you go to Hampton or if you have a Bar Louie near you, they have $5 burgers. Days. Yeah. Definitely, uh, Joe's Crab Shack used to do two dollar Tuesdays. They don't anymore, but just stuff like that. Definitely there are things that you can Four find. Wild Wings, my yeah. favorite place in the whole Tuesdays wide world. Tuesdays and Thursdays, sixty five cent wings. Yeah. Don't be afraid to make new friends. Definitely, a lot of people will have this like pre-subscribed notion that they're gonna mm -hmm. come to school and make like the best friends and you From know all four one. years yeah. you gonna be able to take that graduation picture mm -hmm. and you Spot know goals yeah sometimes that is the case but other th other times that that isn't the case and right. you have to be open to know that you know sometimes it just isn't in your luck that way but yeah. there's no bad thing because there's a lesson learned from every friend that you meet along you the have way. to understand when you first come in as a freshman everybody's gonna you know nobody knows each yeah. other so they're not necessarily your friends they're mm -hmm. kind of just people yeah, first day that friends. you have to you know eat in the cafe with mm -hmm. and go to the party with and stuff like that until you and figure those, those people people that, you, and that you know let you right. see and meet other people because there's then, always I connections mean, give yourself some space to grow yeah. too if you're not losing friends, you're not growing. And so, as bad definitely as that at a sounds. place at college, you yeah. definitely learn about yourself within the four years. You kind of go from being an adolescent to a young adult. And so, mm -hmm. there's going to be a lot of growth going on there and things like that. So, if you're losing friend, if you friends, if you feel bad about a friend that you've lost or anything like that, it's definitely a part of life. Um, yeah. I wouldn't say go around, you know backstabbing your friends yeah. and losing friends that way but no. you know it if, happens not you have some sometimes. dead weight that you yeah. just feel you need to distance yourself from definitely you know it happens and it's not life. a bad thing too if you're that friend that lost like y'all aren't close with another person that you were really cool with sometimes it does happen and it's all a part of the experience and one thing is don't hold any ill will against anybody because y'all aren't friends anymore because you realize this is like the base of you being a real life person like you going to be an adult it's time to kind of put the petty ways to the side mm -hmm. a little bit well certain petty ways because let's be real we don't lose them all even grown people have petty ways and so speaking of dropping <laughs> you know if your friend has you know, just a little bit of advice that they see from somebody that you're talking yeah. to or dating. I wouldn't say trust in them 100%, but just listen to what yeah. they have Take to say. Take into consideration the fact yeah. that somebody on the outside kind of sees things differently. And, you know, right. the, the multiple opinions is a good thing sometimes. Your friends We're not saying know you a little bit more than yeah. people that you've met maybe two weeks ago and things mm -hmm. like that so if they notice a change in you or you know in this person just kind of hear them out because sometimes your friends can see 
something in a guy don't. that you probably don't or a girl for that yeah. matter definitely it goes both ways if you know they can notice a toxic relationship sometimes it can probably help you I'm not saying if you have a jealous friend or mm -hmm. there's a whole bunch of different circumstances where like that probably yeah. won't work out but for you know better judgment just hear what they have to say yeah because not all not all the friends that are giving you certain advice it doesn't come from a bad place all the time it's just something to take in consideration it doesn't have to be a part of your final decision but it's something that you should take in consideration and then you end up two years later just learning that maybe you should have just listened yeah. in the first place but if not like we said before everything is growth you know yeah. it's an experience and it happens for a reason and it's a lesson that, that you lesson. learn yeah and for the final and one of the most important ones to us is to fully maximize and capitalize on your spring break oh this is amazing <laughs> with with food deals and like activity deals there is equally a spring break deal right as a group or as an individual plan your spring break ahead of time i would definitely you can say get a cheap and trip. just keep looking at it too. yeah they like if you're flying out somewhere tickets fluctuate a lot you don't want to wait yeah you know two weeks before to book a ticket you'll probably mm -hmm. pay some heavy fines depending on where you're going and things like that but just keep an eye on it um hotels things like that if you have you know holidays coming up and yeah. you, you know that far in advance you want to go there a lot of these places like hotels.com and stuff like that they'll cheapo have holiday air is your best friend yeah definitely go to cheapo, cheapo air, air and yeah. they'll tell you a list of like Place, different flights yeah. you can take with the cheapest ones if you're flying out of somewhere that has an airport nearby and that ticket is cheaper they'll definitely yeah. suggest definitely. that to you or different day and things like that Definitely make sure everybody is on the same page and all yeah. on one accord if you're going as a group You kind of don't want to plan something money-wise and then one and then, person yeah. wasn't really sure or you know They just make sure understanding on of what was going page. on and so they kind of drop definitely. out that definitely sucks Yeah, but spring break is a wonderful time. Yeah. It's a time um, to have fun a break from go, school relax and also to make new friends from other places because that is a big part of spring break as well when you meet up with other schools and like even locals from the areas that you visit right it is always a good like connection and time. if you don't feel like going anywhere you don't have the money saved up don't do it don't do it don't. just stay there I'm pretty sure like we said you can find tons of things yeah. to do I know we and were planning not, on just staying here time. for a while we yeah. had like a whole bunch of lists of things that we mm -hmm. wanted to do in surrounding cities and it came out to where Way cheaper than actually flying out somewhere. Definitely. And it's sometimes last minute things do pop up and you do have to cancel or you have better plans that come up. Sometimes you just have to go with the flow and that mm -hmm. is also a big part of like your college experience because right. it kind of teaches you that you can't control every aspect of your life. You really can't. But that doesn't mean you can't be spontaneous yeah. either. I think most of our exciting moments and our best memories have came from spontaneity. So. Mm -hmm. Okay, so thanks for watching this video and we hope you enjoyed our tips. Um, we hope you subscribe and stay tuned for other videos. Bye. Bye guys. Okay. Hey guys. <laughs>